Hey everybody, Josh from Populi here. Today we are hacking through the briars and brambles of application settings. They said it would be insane for us to attempt to do an entire video about application settings and admissions, but we're just crazy enough to try it. What is this? Multiple delicious fluffy buns, bouncing down a hill, rotating as they go, as we're talking rolls. To get to application forms and manage individual application settings, you will need the admissions admin role. To get the most out of your application, you need to know exactly what those settings control. And to get the most out of Populi, you need to click that subscribe button. Then you can click the notifications bell, ding, 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 so you don't miss anything, thing, thing. To get to application settings, go to admissions and then go to settings and then you'll need to click into one of your applications. But before we do that, I wanna point out one other thing that gives us some helpful context for one of the settings that we're gonna see. Over here on the right, you'll see an option to get embed code. We'll click that. You'll see here that this gives us an embed code. That embed code allows you to embed a list of all of your application forms that are set to show online. You would give this code to your web designer and they would place it on your site, on your admissions page or under apply now somewhere, something like that. But what do we mean by show online? Well, that is a setting that we're gonna look at. So let's go into this application form and then look over on the right here at settings you can see that this is set to show online. So what that means is that if we set this to show online, it's gonna be possible for you to embed it and would also be included in that list of applications that are potentially embedded on your site somewhere. As you're building an application, you'll probably just choose to set that to no and then save. When we're all done here, we'll turn that back on and we'll look at one more thing related to that. Let's run down a few of these simple ones. When you have text messaging turned on here, it means that as applicants input their phone numbers, they're able to verify those phone numbers as SMS text numbers so that you can text them to keep in touch with them about the progress of their application. So if you turn that on, your applicants will be able to opt in to text messaging, and then you'll be able to contact them via text. Require address set to yes means that applicants won't be able to submit their initial application gateway form without inputting their address there. The program setting allows you to designate under which program these applications will be categorized. So if your undergraduate application doesn't apply, to your graduate program, as we would expect, you're able to point that undergraduate application at just the undergraduate program. However, you're also able to point an application at multiple programs. So if you do have an application that serves multiple programs, you're able to make that happen here as well. You choose the appropriate program and then click add and it'll be included there. And as applicants are filling out the application gateway, they will be able to choose which program they're applying for. Terms down here allows us to choose which terms an application can apply to. That means which um, terms an applicant would be able to choose. If we get rid of all of those terms, then it goes to the default, which is just next term. So that means that once you reach the start date of a given academic term. This then chooses the next term after that as the term for which a student is applying. So if you leave it set that way, you don't have to constantly update the terms for which a student can apply. However, that also means that you don't have a way of setting a point at which you stop receiving applications for a given term. If we set one term here, then students will only be able to submit this application for that term. However, if we set multiple terms, then students will be able to choose from among the terms that are listed there as they're filling out their application gateway. 
the enrollment field here lets you choose which of those enrollment statuses are appropriate for this application. So you could leave it set to only full-time. Students would only be able to submit this application form for full-time status, or you could allow them to choose from amongst those options. Again, this would be on the application gateway before students start their application proper. The allow undecided option is set to yes. If you set that to no, it means that applicants must choose some option for what they're applying for. They can't just come in undecided. To manage the application fee that we have here, a couple things have to be in place. You would need to work with your financial admin to make sure that you have an application fee set up. Once that is set up, and if you're set up to accept payments online, you have a payment gateway in place, you'd be able to come here and then choose that from a list of fees and then set the amount. That amount will be populated from the application fee as it's already been set up, but if it needs to be different, you can change that here. Then you also have options below that for when you require payment. If you set this to started, it means that applicants will have to make their payment for that application fee before they start the application. So as they're submitting their application gateway to actually complete the application itself. If you set it to submitted, it means that applicants will have to make that payment once they've worked through the application, have entered all the fields there, are ready to go, and then before they hit submit, they'll make that payment. The redirect URL here, that's just a website that you can set. That would typically be a website that you've designed on your site, so you've worked with your web designer. This is something that you've done outside of Populi. You're just choosing where you want applicants to be pushed after they hit submit on the application. Again, just to run over things, you've got that application gateway, then you have the application proper, so then um, students have sort of left your website. They're now on Populi's application form, so this redirect URL will push them back to your site and maybe you've got a thank you page or something there with a few notes about what'll happen next in their application process. I don't know, it's just a few good ideas. They're fine. It would be fine if you did that. You won't be stealing from me. Let's look down at initial email that's currently set to custom. Let's click on that. Your other options are to use the default. That default is real simple. It just says, thank you for starting an application at the name of your college. Click here to view your application. And that has a link back to the application. That could also be set to disabled, so no email would go out at all. Or you could set it to custom, which means that you would be able to get in there and um, use some of our variables and change some of the language there to conform it to whatever you want it to be. Default localization. This means that you can have a localization that this application will default to. So if you want an application to function within a specific language that you've set as a localization, this would control that. Ultimately, it's worth noting that this won't translate the fields of the application. So if you want the application to be in Spanish, you need to translate the application to Spanish and then set up the fields in Spanish. One last very important field here that will be hidden unless you have show online up at the top set to yes. We'll then click save there and you'll see that down below that gives us the embed code. Once you've turned on that embed code, you're able to copy that code send it to your web designer and they're able to embed this application on your website. And then you're also able to um, click here to view the application form. These various changes here that you've made will affect what you see when you view the application form. Let's have a look at that. I'm gonna set fee here to require payment before application is started and then save. Then when we land on 
our application gateway. And remember, this is just an example of your application gateway in a full page. Typically, this would be constrained within an iframe um, embedded on your site. But as we come down to the bottom there, you'll see where we have the option to input credit card information right here. So the changes that you make on your application settings have effects on exactly how your application gateway here will work. And then of course, how your application works as well. So now you're looking at the application gateway, the way that your applicants would see this, it's conformed to the changes that you've made to settings and so on. Now it's time for you to make an important choice, make the right choice, click subscribe down below. Click the notifications bell when it comes up, ding, 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 so you don't miss anything. And also click that like button. It's how you can help us, Gabe and I, as we're making these videos, feel whole. Check us out on social media. You'll find the links in the description below. I've been Josh for Populi. You've been great. Thanks for watching.